Good day all, I'm back at it again. Um, before I jump in, I would say I recently released a game on Google Play, so if you have Android, consider checking that out. I'll talk about it more towards the end, because I know that wouldn't have been why you clicked on this video. So let's just jump straight in, I guess. Um, so what you'll need to, to make the miner, if that's what you're doing, is a Rashi Pi. So I'm using a Rashi Pi 3B+, plus. I'm not, it's, it's over here. Uh, just as you would expect, already plugged in and all that. And you also need an ASICS, or not an ASICS, but a SHA-256 USB miner. So I believe the Gecko Sense is the best one. Uh, this isn't, this is just an ASICS USB miner. So you're going to need one of these for this video. And before I jump in, I wanted to kind of just say that with these miners, they're highly efficient, highly like the profitability rate is insane, you know, 300%, whatever it may be. But the odds of you actually mining, like any Bitcoin or, or whatever you choose to mine in this video, obviously we're doing Bitcoin, is very, very low. So if you join a pool, which I'll talk about later, there's a chance of, there's a much higher chance of you mining, but you won't mine much. Or you could just go solo, which will what be what I was doing, and it's like a random chance, kind of like lotto kind of game kind of thing. Anyway, let's jump straight in, and yeah, I think I'll start off with just showing you how to set up your account, and I'll also just say down in the description, I'm gonna link a a link to where I made my Bitcoin wallet. So you can click on that. It really simple. It's literally just download an app, and boom, you got a Bitcoin wallet. So yeah, let's jump straight in and all right. Okay, so when you start up your Raspberry Pi, you want to obviously open your terminal. Sudo apt get update. And I will um, be throwing all the code down into the description um, so that you can just quickly copy and paste it over and it's not too much of a pain in the ass. And so these are just the libraries, again, especially for this one, could be big, you want to check the description. And yeah, you can just type Y into where it's saying yes. Once that's all downloaded, we want to go git clone and download this from GitHub. And I've already actually downloaded it, so I don't need to download it again. I want to open that file now. And we're going to go slash autogen dot slash autogen again in the description. All right, so next up we want to go dot slash configure. All right, once you've got that set up, you want to type make him. So for this video, I'm going to be using the BSOD solo pool. So I put my wallet in, Bitcoin. I'm going to be using the Asia servers because those are closest to me and I put the ASICS firmware in because that's the kind of USB I'm using and we're going to go on solo. So here we are, we have our worker URL and password here. So when we get jump back into our Raspberry Pi, this is what we're going to use. All right, so I wanted to just show you uh, a few different things. So this is the pool that I showed you how to like look at it and you earn that. And so this is obviously the command that you're gonna to wanna to use to run that. And so when you jump in, it's gonna boot up and it should hopefully set us to the solo pool and then set our difficulty to one. So here we are uh, and you'll see that it will start mining and it's just loading up right now. It would take a moment or two to load up. Our difficulty is one, and we're just booting up to about 330 mega hash per second is what we will expect. And we'll be getting our accepted down here. And as it loads up, you'll start to see that this is our estimation of how much Bitcoin we're gonna be mining per hour. And hopefully that should go up to about 200. Uh, P BTC, which will represent about a one in 
one million chance of us mining a Bitcoin block per hour. I mean, per sorry, per year, uh, which is obviously quite low. But I'm just gonna guess that the title of the video is something around how to make a lotto machine using a Raspberry Pi, lotto Bitcoin machine using Raspberry Pi. So as you can see, we're hitting blocks here, and there's a chance that we would get paid out on any one of these blocks, any any one of these accepted, we could get paid out. Obviously, it's likely that we're not. But this will load up and hopefully, yeah, go to 200. Although I did see there was a different pool that you could consider using, and I'll also show that command here. So we'll just cancel out there. And we will run this command here. So this is coin miners, and it's also a solo pool. As you can see, M solo. And just so you know, all these pools can switch to like pool mining, which will guarantee that you'll mine something, but uh, on the scale of cents. And yeah, so we can just let this boot up and you'll see difficulty go down one and our estimated is far higher than what it should actually be. It should be about 200. You would expect it to be about 200. But yeah, we'll just wait for this to settle down and see what it lands at. I do find this pool, I did find this pool to be slightly, um, better i don't exactly know why but i'm going to say that using coin miners may be a better option all right so before i ended off i wanted to jump into coin miners at least i've been mining for about a day now um and the you can see the tracker on my miner it's gone up and down so it'll drop and then go back up again uh so don't be too worried if that's happening to you as well because it is happening to me uh, on coin miners, you just come to tracker and then you can put in your wallet address and uh, Then you can see like your hash rate and that so currently I'm on 200 and the average was 260 uh, and Our current the current estimated based on this 200 is uh, This long before we actually mine any Bitcoin uh, which is Very long and as I said, it's it's a lot of machines. So there's a chance that you might mine something, but it's a, it's a very low chance, uh, even over the course of a year. So uh, if you are doing this, good luck. And yeah, let's just jump back out. All right, so before I end off here, I wanted to again just ask if you have Android to consider checking out my game. I'll probably be overlaying uh, a video of it right now just so you know what it actually looks like. It's just a sort of a puzzle game for just connect the dots kind of thing. And I'd like to see a few downloads on that. So if you have watched this far to the video, consider subscribing and leaving a like. And if you have attempted to make this Raspberry Pi lotto machine, good luck to you. You will need it. Uh, obviously that block, 6.25 Bitcoin would be incredible. They actually hit. So good luck to you and see you next time.